Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. Today I'm drawing love from the TV show You. You'll be spoiling the whole show, so if you haven't watched it already, leave here and go watch my previous video for the non-spoiler version if you're interested in that. I will be ranting randomly about the show and just talking about everything that happens at the beginning and in the middle, and we'll just go from there. So yeah, so you have been warned, you should leave now. So yeah, You Season 3 takes place after Season 2. And that's it. Congratulations for the spoilers. Now I'm out. Nah, I'm just playing. But um, yeah, season two ends with Joe and Love moving together to the suburbs. And season three picks up right there. They move to the suburbs. They're living there. They're having fun or whatever. They're, well, not having fun. They're just there chilling. And then boom, the baby's born and introduced. So right away, Joe notices the neighbors, starts checking her out. He slowly starts losing interest in love and starts making moves to be with the neighbor. It ends up the neighbor is down and also ready to do the nasty, but Joe leaves. Later on, uh, Love finds a box with the stalker memorabilia. She finds that Joe was keeping a box of all the neighbor's stuff and was kind of like oh okay like trying to piece one and one together but doesn't tell joe later on she finds out that the stalker memorabilia was actually the the uh the neighbor girls at a party and is like oh okay she's like yeah i do real um real estate or whatever i could probably help you get a place for your bakery and everything else because she used to be a baker and then he's like oh she's like um yeah sure help me out then they go see the place or whatever they go into the basement they're like a like a very closed area she gets an axe hits the girl in the back of the head kills her and now it's love calling joe like yo i just messed up come fix this for me and now joe has to help come up with a way to cover up hiding the body in the woods and coming up with ideas to cover their tracks because the husband just happens to be into like security or something like that and he had like bunch of like stuff connected to her so it was like um like a tracking ring or something and just by coincidence the ring happened to break so you know nothing was uh off about that so yeah um but then it becomes like a giant thing in the small suburban area where they're like just because they're rich people and have nothing to do all they want to do is gossip they eventually all try to figure out like they want to be super detectives and figure out what happened and where and everything else and that's all the news covers the same story over and over and over and it just like i said it's their neighbor that they killed but they're acting like nothing happened and yeah like um that event of the girl dying is basically what leads to everything else and everything just gets added on to it like uh she hit some nerdy guy in the back of the head because he didn't have vaccines for their kids and the kid almost accidentally killed uh, her son, the baby. And she just went crazy. She hit him in the back of the head, locked him up in the cage and went from there. So now we have, well, the cage from um, the season one and two, you know, the glass cage or whatever, where he keeps everybody locked up. So yeah, now we have the dead lady in the woods and now everybody's trying to solve the case. They go on a hike, they try to figure everything out. And then this guy's locked up in a cage as well. Long story short, he kills himself because of something Joe told him about. Um, well, Love told him about something like his kid being like messed up and like trying to R word, R A P E, the, because you know, YouTube demonetizes, even though I'm not demonetized, I don't want to get like a uh, shadow. But anyways, long story short, he R A P E's the. Um, one of the girls in college or something finds out she was paid off and then he come they come back later on and he ends up killing himself and now what do they do they get his uh body they put it in the house they write a note saying that he like ended himself or whatever and then says that he was having an affair with the girl love killed earlier and then they tie it together and it makes a story everybody's happy except the husband the husband of the neighbor was actually looking into the case the whole time and has like a bunch of cameras everywhere and yeah that's basically the middle and then they also make friends with this swinger couple swinger couples or whatever you you should know what that is and then they find out that um love accident well love killed the neighbor and then they're going crazy because they're like she's yelling and everything and i'm like bro they're upstairs like why are you gonna be yelling now they know and it ends up that joe and the um and love end up hitting them both in the back of the head or knocking them out somehow they drag them now their bodies into the cage and guess what now they're locked in a cage and now they have to figure out how to set them free 
And then there's also uh, a love interest for love. She ends up like having a crush on some kid that's like 20, even though she's probably like 30 something. And that's a side story for another day. But yeah, uh, there's also to end everything up. There's like a library girl he falls in love with. And the whole show the whole time is trying to build her up at the halfway point. But by then it's too late. Like I really don't care about her because Joe was falling in love with the neighbor. And then all of a sudden he completely forgets about that. Doesn't even care. Doesn't even say anything. And is now in love with the librarian girl and will do anything for her. While at the same time love is there trying to figure out what's going on with Joe. And yeah it's basically like the middle is just a giant filler. And they're trying to drag it on and just have like people just end each other just because the story in the first two seasons had it but in the first two seasons it kind of made sense like he did it because he loved the girl and now it's like she's doing it because she loves him but it's kind of like in a very dumb way where it's like oh the neighbor uh has a crush on joe okay that's it done oh the guy didn't get vaccines which i understand the baby could have gotten really sick but luckily the baby was okay so she's like nope gotta end them too and it's just like okay and yeah, and then, like I said, the librarian girl, it was kind of like, she had a sad backstory, she was a drug addict, she was going through rehab, and then her messed up boyfriend, husband, baby dad, whatever you want to call him, just call him the baby dad, he ends up having to be, like, super well connected with judges and everything else, and he ends up keeping custody of the daughter, so now she's a single mom trying to get custody back, and so on, so it's kind of like, okay, this is a sad story, but it was like, it was presented a little bit too late to a point where I was just like, eh, I really don't care. But yeah, overall, I mean, the show has a lot of flaws. It kind of drags, but I have really, really high hopes for season four. I think season four will make up for being season three being so like in the middle, but that's just what I'm hoping for. Overall, the show is still very addicting because at the time I had the Rona. So guess what? I binge watched the whole show and it was pretty good. So uh, I can't complain about that. Overall, 7.2 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to help me out. And future giveaways coming soon. Now I'm out.